Hey Axe Junkies, this is Eric Hawkins and this is a video response to Neil LePage regarding um, recommendations for the first Axe for his 12 year old daughter. So, I, when I teach kids, or anybody for that matter that is not familiar with Axe skills, when I teach people how to use uh, an Axe, I like to start them out. Now this is a Collins Red Seal hewing hatchet and I'm only using it for demonstration purposes because it really uh, exaggerates what I'm about to show you okay uh, this is not the axe that I would start somebody out on but what I want to talk about is deflection and what I teach people is about the center line and deflection so when I am teaching people about chopping if they're chopping with a tool that has a nice flat cutting edge a nice flat bit even if they miss the center line while they're learning how to chop, they're still going to be pretty safe and they're going to get good results, which is going to, you know, good results equals positive reinforcement, right? But what I want to talk about is deflection. Now, the further they get past the center line, the more likely they are to, if they had a curved bit, have some deflection. But with a bit like this, it will dig into the workpiece and actually stop the tool from deflection. Whereas, if they're using a, a tool like this one, as they came in, they'd be getting some pretty good chops here, even if they were missing. But as they start getting the tip of the tool past the center line of the workpiece, those two circles are going to try and push each other apart. And that's where you start getting into this, the deflection factor. And that's definitely not something we want. The same thing goes for the splitting action, okay? So, again, the splitting action, if they're splitting and... Uh, they're able to stay pretty close to center line. They're going to get some good work. But if they miss a little bit, the tip of that tool is still going to dig into the workpiece and stop the tool so they don't get a deflection. Whereas if you miss with a curved tool, if you miss a little bit with this little tomahawk, and this was a really solid uh, workpiece, you could definitely get a deflection, and that's a bad thing. So, again, I like to start people out with something like um, a carpenter's axe or a half hatchet or something like that. So that's my two cents.